Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Oxygen Not Included. Today, I'm going to be trying to make a water treatment plant. So that's not only going to clean out the particulates, but also kill off any germs that might be inside of your liquid. So that's what's going on right here. A nice way to get nice, pure, sterile water. So the other thing is over here, I have also reworked my little power base block that could be dropped in for experimental uses. And so far... This is working out better than the last one because people aren't getting sick and vomiting all over the place. Thanks to an unbelievable amount of chlorine. Look at that. I think that's 11 million kilograms. That should be enough to last a little while. Also got a bunch of coal and all of that fun stuff over there. So let's see. Let me talk about this. Let, let me show you what's going on here. Now, this was in a direct response to many of your guys' comments down here. So there was a lot of different methods that people have been talking about early on as far as ways to keep the germs down now for the most part making people sick uh some people say it's a big deal some people say it's not so much a big deal slime lung might be the big one but the, it's temperature control temperature control is like the biggest way to kind of start to control that if you don't have access to a ton of chlorine obviously that's a bigger discussion than it's not exactly what we're talking about tonight but focusing on this more or less is Brothgar, you could try heating the water. So sand-based water purification, or in this case, really filtration, doesn't remove all of the viruses and bacteria inside of there. It does change it from dirty water, which is what they used to call it, but it's polluted water. Uh, and it gets rid of all the contaminants that are inside of that water. However, it doesn't necessarily kill off all the germs. We saw that in my last video, which was a little bit misleading, but... That is the way it works right there. So the water purifier right here transfers a portion of disease into the polluted dirt. It says right there, but not all of it. So really what we need is a way to kind of get away from the water purifier. I mean, it's okay for what it is early game, but what you really want is a water treatment plant in case you happen to have very infected stuff or you just need to purify, you know, polluted water, which may be full of nasty, horrible, germy stuff. I mean, look at this. Blah. One million one hundred and eighty two thousand six hundred and sixty eight germs i mean <laughs> that's horrible we want to clean that stuff up we want to make that stuff better so we're going to take that we're going to put it up here and this is going to be the chamber that pumps into this area down here now we've tried this before but we didn't have the thermal aqua tuner right here so this is a new piece of equipment that can overheat and in this case, since it's made of gold amalgam at 175 degrees Celsius. So that's way up there. So that should be hot enough to create steam. However, once you get steam in an area, it's going to contain a lot of energy and it might be above that temperature and it could potentially still damage stuff around it. So what I have going on here is several wire bridges that are going to be bridged into different areas that will hopefully rapidly cool down that steam so it doesn't, you know, go up to like 200 and some degrees and turn into a very destructive thing so hopefully we're going to cool that steam down once it goes through these these airflow tiles right here so steam should happen right there and then nice clean pure water should then drip down over here into this basin that's the hopes and we'll see how that all works out so let me run you through the process right polluted water dirty water germy water whatever it is is going to be piped in over here the liquid tepidizer should turn on initially and take care of all of the heating up to its maximum temperature, which I believe is 85 degrees Celsius. At that point, it's no longer going to turn off because it's going to have nice hot liquid inside of here. However, we want to take it the last 15 degrees over 100 degrees Celsius so that we're going to use the thermal aqua tuner for that. So that should then create steam, which is then going to come out over here. This basin over here is going to be a nice cold basin, and as you can see, the wire bridge should transfer the thermal energy between that basin and the steam that should be generated right there. We'll see if this turns into a nice block or not. So the one thing I need to do right off the bat is I need to modify the system a little bit because one, the thermal aqua tuner requires 1,200 watts, which is more than this cable can take. So I have to modify that. And then the second thing is I also need a, a thermal switch down here so that I can keep this off when I don't need it and then turn it on when I am going to use it. Okay, so right off the bat here, we can see that the polluted water that I've painted in doesn't have any germs inside of it. It's actually clean, right? So if from a germ perspective, we, st we just need to turn it into clean water at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to paint some water over here. 
There we go. So right now we don't have any germs inside of there. Let's see what happens though. When I dig up some of this nasty horrible slime and teleport it inside of there. Apparently it's not getting germified. <laughs> Come on! All right, so let's go ahead and test this system here. You can see the liquid. It is just running through some insulated pipe, but then it's through some granite pipe over here. That's again, just kind of cooling a little bit of area. There's a chance that I could run some of these wire bridges from here up in case I need to cool this area off a little bit more. But anyhow, what we have down here is we have some liquid right now. It's not enough to get this thing up and running. So I'm just gonna type in a little bit more and let's see what happens. Come on, work. By the way, as you can tell, I am not running this in VR this time. It was a little dizzying to watch the last video, but it it was kind of fun. It was at least fun for me. <laughs> and I have just been enjoying that Oculus Rift. I have some videos that I'll be sharing with you guys here later. And I think, it, I think it'll be fun. I think you'll get a kick out of it. So if we take a look at the temperature here, well, we can see that the water is increasing as far as its temperature is going. So it is going to take a while though for that amount of water to heat up. And another thing to watch is how much the air above it is going to heat up. So there should be about one kilogram of oxygen or so that I've placed in this area. Okay, so as we can see, things are really starting to heat up now. The maximum temperature has been reached and the liquid is more or less starting to stabilize right around 83 degrees Celsius. So this really needs to take over at 80 degrees Celsius. And at this point, we're now going to try to cool this liquid up here, which is going to produce a whole crap ton of heat. Look at that. Holy moly, 161 degrees Celsius. It, it looks like it's trying to damage itself. I'm getting this warning every once in a while that thing, things are overheating, but it's not going quite fast enough to make it happen. But you can see the polluted water now. It's uh, it's approaching the boiling temperature, so that very soon I should see some steam come out of here. So you can kind of see that what I'm doing here is I'm going to heat up this liquid, and then I'm going to use the cold li this liquid to balance it out. So it's kind of a enclosed system as far as the energy is concerned or about as you know enclosed as I can get it this may indeed might be better off as if you can make it out of steel that would be the ideal material and I've heard you can make steel by superheating wolframite to actually get steel so if you made this I guess right out of wolframite and you found a way to get it super hot it might be able to become steel. I'm not 100% sure. There was some people leaving some comments down there that they were able to do that. However, I'm not 100% sure and I haven't tested with it. I haven't experimented with that myself. I've now emptied a toilet into this area, so hopefully we get some germs in here too. And this thing is destroying itself before it's... before it's making steam. One of the things I can do here. Oh, nope, now I have steam. Okay. So I was a little bit confused there. Actually, I have steam now. Um, one of the things I can do, I think, is I can turn this down. Because with the thermal regulators, right, if you reduced the liquid valve in, what you're essentially doing is lowering the amount of energy that this thing is converting. So you can actually drop the temperature down to save this from overheating. It slows everything down and you lose a little bit of efficiency, but if it saves it from destroying itself, then hey, that's kind of a bonus. So inside of here, I have several kilograms worth of steam. You can actually see that. It's also hot. It's hot, hot. <laughs> and this is cold, okay? So it might be better to rearrange this to where this liquid is actually kind of moving over here to kind of cool this area off. So let me go ahead and actually just disable this real quick. Hey, look at this. Now we're getting some nice germy stuff in there. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to see. 
All right. Now show me the steam. Okay, so actually last time all the steam escaped over into this area. And they didn't really it didn't really go up. I want it to go up. I want it to force its way up, not build up down here. So maybe if I No. Oh, but now I got a stupid wire there that I can't build. For Hey, look at this. All right, so I modified some stuff there. Now look at all this water I have down here. And it should be nice and clean. Okay, so that's good. All right, so let's give this another try here real quick. Kind of mop this up, make sure I don't have any water left over there. Look at that. I just can't get rid of all the clean water in that area. But look at how germy it is, how nasty that is. This is, this is the experiment I really wanted. So what I have over here, right, is coming out of this toilet, you know, that's where all that's going. So all of, I've got this, not only is it polluted water, it's germy water with like 100,000 germs in it. Terrible stuff. So let's say you have a little bit of clean water mixed in there too. It's just germy as well. You know, so it's a little bit of a mixture that's going to be pumped into this space. Let's see what happens. I think I got it figured out though. I think it should work. Okay, so stage one, the liquid teptizer runs, and this will bring up the temperature. So we've heated up the water to 80 degrees Celsius. Let's take a look at the germs for that water. You can see here that it's, at, just by heating the water, it's killing off a lot of these germs. So there we go. That's pretty much everything that we needed to do there. But now we got to make it into nice clean water, so we also got to get rid of its polluted status. Oh, man. So now you can see that we're heating up that polluted water. And by not letting this run too much, well, I wonder if I can run it at 999. Oh, Gossman, go ahead and die. You're done. Uh, there we go. We'll throw a dead body in the, in the pool over here. So even by running this at 999 grams a second, that keeps this thermal aqua tuner from going super hot. So watch what happens if I crank this up to max. You'll see that the temperature on this thing should rapidly increase because it just never turns off. Potentially. Although I think it has more liquid around it this time. I don't know. That's definitely the throttle, though. The temperature in this basin continues to go down. Yeah, see how hot this thing got? Way hot now. So let me go down to 9,999 9 again. Yeah, that drops the temperature right down to a safe level. Tell you what, we'll just combine this whole thing into one space. How about that? So it's 60 degrees Celsius. Look at that. Change rate. It's killing it off. So just heat up the water. That's really what it takes there. Hey, I've got steam down here. So that's good. It just needs to build up enough pressure to where it's going to push this oxygen out of the way. And then I should have a lot of nice clean water down here. It's really not running perfect, but hey, it's actually running, so that's cool. So you can see in this tile right here, I have 132 kilograms of steam. Wow. So maybe this spot over here, maybe the way this all works out, is that I simply don't need this tile. It might be possible that this tile could just be a gas permeable tile and all this steam can escape. Hmm. This body up here has gotten too... It's gotten too, um... Too cold again to run through the thermal aqua tuner here. It's kind of a weird thing in that... The way this runs, I almost need to heat the water that has to be run through this. Which I guess would make sense, honestly. I guess you could take this and put it up there. It's kind of a matter of space. Kind of... Alright, so yeah, there we go. That's a little bit different there. So, this can be set to like 400. Shoot, it can actually be set quite a bit lower now to let's say 50 kilograms so that I don't have to really heat up a lot of water. Let me just mop all of this up. 
which is full of steam now. <laughs> and then because it doesn't matter, let me just go ahead and deconstruct this real quick. And then this is just going to be all gas tile right there. So in this situation, things are quite a bit different. I'm pumping into this area up here, and this is going to be stage one, which is just going to be killing the germs. So this will heat up nice and hot, and then that will then get pumped down through here. At the same time, I'm also going to use this for cooling, so it's just going to... And that's what's going to generate the steam. So this should up here should be nice, some polluted water, really. So something like that. See, and it's got some germs in it, but those germs are quickly getting neutralized by the liquid tepidizer there. Boom, step one done. It's starting to simplify itself. I mean, it's not like it's massively awesome, but it is starting to simplify itself. What is getting damaged? Made out of copper. That pump needs to be made out of gold amalgam. There we go. Oh, look at the madness now. Okay, what's overheating? This is overheating because it's now... Oh, but look at that. We got liquid already. So it's running a little bit too fast. <laughs> but now we've got all this steam and all this clean water. And things are overheating. <laughs> what is overheating now? This bridge? So there you have it. That is one germ-free zone. Now at this point, um, I guess we could also pump this liquid into here and then hook this pump up to a temperature switch so that once liquid is down here, we're then cooling this water down so it isn't so ridiculously hot when you go to pump it around your base. So that way it's a self-regulating system. Aha! The pieces are coming to get together. Okay, so how does that power loop work? So it comes up over here. And then runs that pump. Okay, so now if this is below 14 degrees Celsius, I can't run it, I'll freeze my pipes. However, if this is above... I guess it doesn't even matter, like... 60, 50 degrees Celsius. We'll say 60 for the sake of it. Then it's on. So if it's actually below that, then it shouldn't run. Okay. Which means that this liquid pump over here should now be the one that is feeding the aqua tuner right there. But then where is that going to drip? How do I control the drip? Well, one easy way to do that would be to use a liquid filter. So it's not necessarily laid out quite perfectly at this point, but you can you get the idea of at least what I'm, I'm trying to do here. So what I want to filter out is just water, clean water. If it happens to be a little bit of polluted water left in the system, then I don't care. That's going to go back up to the top. However, if, it, if it's clean water, then I will just drip it just be powered off of this circuit simple really simple <laughs> and therefore if that is above let's say I wanted to bring it down to 25 degrees Celsius so if it's above that then I'm then going to run it and this stuff here needs to be made of more durable materials so Gold amalgam it is again. The absolute most useful material in the game, I think. Until we can get steel reliably. Let's clear the ground here. Let's see what happens. Germs, they get neutralized. Liquids, we only end up with nice clean liquid, and hopefully this should be dropping in temperature down here. And it is, because we're processing it. Does it cost us an extra 120 watts? Sure. But you gotta be having a lot of power to run this thing to begin with, so... Maybe there's a more efficient way, but still. This isn't half bad. How many kilojoules are we using? 600 kilojoules the day before? Not terrible. I mean, that's manageable. You know, mid to late game. 
All right, so I used a little bit of a liquid bridge here to allow the two flows to kind of come in the exact same way and also merge a little bit. Ah, there we go. Look at all this steam. Kilograms worth of it. A lot of it. And it's finding its way into the cooling system. So that's cool. The other thing about this, by using this liquid filter, is that if I get clean water up here that needs to be processed, it'll just get warmed up, it'll kill the germs, and then come out the bottom eventually. Back down at a low temperature. Um, so it doesn't actually need to go through the whole steaming process here, which gets rid of the polluted status, so it's no longer polluted water, it actually is just clean water. The other side benefit, if you can get a duplicate to it at some point here, is that you do have dirt that you get out of the polluted water. So there is, you know, 10 kilograms of dirt there, which is useful. Another thing I could do is hook this pump up to a hydro switch so that it isn't constantly running and sucking up just a little bit like we're seeing here. So here's a decent indicator of just how much liquid is flowing into this system. You can see that this number right there, 32 kilograms, you can see that number starting to float around. So as this builds up, you know, the temperature of this polluted water, we should see that number increase. It's not a real easy thing to measure though. So this is a good spot for a liquid valve right here. And that will reduce the amount of liquid that's coming into this space. Because right now, every time it runs, I get like 20 kilograms worth of liquid inside of there. Which is not what I want. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to run this down to 100. Or maybe, I don't know. Let's say 500 grams a second. And we'll see what happens when I do that. Alright, so I set this liquid valve all the way down to 100 grams a second. And that seems to be pretty close to what this is running. More or less. This hydro switch is way over here on the left. And the low liquid area is underneath this aqua tuner right here. So it might be better off to have the hydro switch over on this side. If, to make that possible somehow. Um, but essentially... It, it seems like this might be processing around 100 grams a second or so. As far as the reports is how much energy it's using, well, it was 460 yesterday, uh, 460 kilojoules, 488 kilojoules worth of power the day before that, 450. So you can get an idea, at least about 450 or so kilojoules of power to purify what seems to be roughly around 100 grams a second worth of liquid. Now, I could get more liquid out of this if I turn this up a little bit. This was actually turned down to 900. Wow, I could... Let's crank this up to like a, you know, a thousand or something and see what happens. That was way down. So if that was 900, if I turn this to 9,000, and I turn this to 1,000, then those two should be balanced again. However, this also needs to be 10. I need more liquid down there because I'm just overheating too much. Too hot? Too hot? Need more? I didn't realize that I had turned that liquid valve down so far. It makes a big difference. Forget it. We'll just max that out. See if I can keep this from overheating. I mean, look at all the steam I have down here. It's just massive now. Now I'm getting lots and lots of water. Hey, this is what I wanted to see. This was a little bit better. This needs to be more like 20 kilograms or so. So I broke one unit thus far. Let's try another one. It's a bit too hot at 9,000 for that material. So we'll go to 8,500. Okay, so right down here, I have loads and loads of steam now, and I got to address all of this steam. So, this is where my favorite thing comes in. You know what it is. Bam! Ah, oh, the shower cooler's too tall! Fine. The toilet cooler. We'll have to roll with that. Basically anything made of Wolframite here. It's going to transfer a lot of the energy between the gas and the liquid to try to stabilize it. It's good stuff. 
Let me tell you what. This needs to go up even more. I'm just cranking out the steam now. I'm burning through it too quick. Okay, so let's see the reports. Yesterday, 650 kilojoules. So, a little bit more power, but a ton more water. I like that. And this one over here is now set to above 95 degrees Celsius, so if it's above that, then whatever, it just kind of runs. So that runs when it's dry. It's below. I don't really know exactly what to set that to. <laughs> Holy moly, I just can't keep this thing. A hundred, a hundred kilograms. So much steam. It's unbelievable. So you can see here, just looking at that current pressure switch. Look at that, 375. That'll now average out, go up to 380. And mind you, that's across all of these tiles as it's trying to average out. So there's a lot moving on there. A lot moving around. It seemed like this was a little happier at a lower number. And I just can't run this quite as hot as I want it to. So maybe 8,000 grams a second is what I can process through it without overheating it. All right, let me go back and actually just try this with gold amalgam. Except for I'm going to run it at 9,999. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm cooking everything, man. What's going on here? Why is this broken? What happened? Holy cow. The temperature of the steam is so high that it's cooking things. <laughs> well, here's a bonus tip. Things that are made of wolframite, this thing still works. It doesn't actually have to be functioning. It can be broken and it'll still work. Seems as if you really got to flood this area a little bit just to kind of help it out. If you get too little liquid over here, it really does overheat. Alright guys, so this is all the time I have tonight to kind of run this sort of water purification plant here and I'm actually surprised on just how well it works. Once you kind of dial in how much you can actually run through this flow control and what material we're going to use for that thermal aqua tuner there. I mean, the amount of steam you can produce is is quite ridiculous and the temperature of it is, is significant. Um, so I'm really liking that and I'm liking the fact that you can also cool that liquid down eventually. Obviously though, this is, this is version 1.0 here. As a proof of concept, it does work. So Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have found this video somewhat informative or helpful. Purify your water. Clean it up as well. I think this is a great little system and I love to see where it goes from here. So if you got some ideas for me, you can go ahead and leave them down there in the comment section below. I'll also probably have a little bit of a Reddit link so you guys can download this sort of thing and then you can kind of modify it and maybe send it back. And at some point I can cover that in the future. So if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.